Uh, there's one from Doctor Disaster. Kind of a bit of a random topic. Lucasfilm cancels another Star Wars film. Man, it sucks what they've done to Star Wars. I was a Star Wars enjoyer, not a big fan. But when it, when they were announcing new movies and shit, like I was excited. And then once those new like Ray movies came out, I was like, I didn't even watch all of them. I watched the first one, and I don't even know if I watched the second or third one. For sure, I didn't watch the the third one. What's up, space pirates? This is your captain, the ever charming Doctor Disaster, and once again we see evidence that Kathleen Kennedy and the people over at Lucasfilm don't have any earthly idea what in the hell they're doing with Star Wars. What am I gonna do? You would think that by now, with all of the wishy-washy that that decision-making guy? that they have done over the past several years, announcing projects, then canceling those projects, announcing more projects, and then canceling those, you would think that the geniuses over at Lucasfilm would learn not to announce anything new until they have at least a finalized script that's ready to go but they keep walking into this trap of their own making. Once again, we have a movie that they were proudly trotting out to the public, getting pushed back, Ice and Age it six. looks like it's going to be canceled. Why does this keep happening to- It's like they can never create anything original. Ice Age 6. How many of these can you make? How long does it take for everything to melt? Me. Because you're or stupid. freeze over or anything. You may remember that last Are we year just going through the they Holy announced Street? a few new movies slated to come out, including a movie featuring Ray. Earlier this year, there was a big media push for this movie with director Charmin Obeyed Chinoy talking about huh? how excited they were to make the film. Meanwhile, there was no freaking script. You can't fix stupid. The movie was supposed to start filming this what, last spring, but there was no script, and now they finally fired the writer for this thing the other day, presumably because he couldn't get a script put out, and now it looks as though Disney is throwing in the towel on this. To be fair too, even if they did make these scripts, they're always bad. So even if you did manage to complete a full script, it's probably dog shit anyways. Let me guess, Ray's like, uh, she's bisexual now, she's uh, gay. Wait, 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 what is this? What's going to become of this? Can you can you write an actual good fantasy story or are you going to have to keep teleporting modern 2024 politics into these movies? Oh, you know, a, a galaxy far, far away, but it's just like here in uh, downtown California. It's, a, it's just like Los Angeles. A galaxy far, far away and it's just like, you know, New York City or lot. It's so stupid. Movie. It has been removed from the lineup when it was supposed to come out in December of 2026. The media will insist that the film isn't getting the axe, but let's be real here. If past performance is any indication of the future, they will quietly discontinue the movie and Disney won't talk about it again until years down the road when they blame it not being made on the sexist Star Wars fans. Um, he did it. What? I like how he's, he's always kept this. You know what? I think Dr. Disaster actually started off originally as a Star Wars creator. And then I think he eventually moved into politics. Alright, me hearties, make sure that you hit the like button on this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed already, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter, where my handle on that platform is Dr. Disaster one But anyhow, Star Wars really needs to stop doing this, where they announce projects that never get made because at this point, the fandom is getting completely desensitized to it. At this point, most of us just assume that the likelihood is that whenever they announce something, it just won't end up being made. These guys remind me of that guy who always talks about writing a novel because he has a brilliant idea, but he just never gets around to it. He's 100% right. 
You guys have no idea throughout the years when it came to Warhammer 40K, me talking about could they survive. I had, not even exaggerating, probably a few hundred people contacting me, telling me about their ideas. They're going to create a new video game. They're creating a new tabletop game. They're creating their own universe. They're writing their own stories. And not one, not one have I ever seen come to bear. Not one. And I I just like it got to the point where I didn't even respond to those those uh I was getting emails, I was getting Discord messages, I was getting comments, uh all that stuff. And I just stopped replying to it a long time ago. Cause I was like, this shit goes nowhere. Like these these it's like they love the idea of it and then it never comes to fruition. That being said, naturally, we can also assume that any idea Disney had for Star Wars was definitionally not brilliant. Because the only brilliant idea that they've had for a story so far, The Mandalorian, which came from Jon Favreau, that idea has been ransacked by corporate greed and commoditized to the point that it is already barely recognizable. It's astonishing how quickly Disney speed ran the Mandalorian IP to the end stage. They went from... Yeah, I think it's because like their shit is like just not that successful anymore. And so anything that becomes remotely successful, that's like they just eat it. It's like a garden. You plant so many plants, most of them just die or they don't even grow at all. And then when one of them starts to grow, you just strip it bare and eat everything already. They're like locust. They're starving. They want more money. Fresh and exciting to played out and oversaturated in less than five years. That is wild. Even for a corporate greed machine like Disney. But, in any event, it's funny that just the other day, Ray was being called the most valuable cinematic asset of Star oh Wars. Oh my god, which is laughable how? As hell. Apparently, we can all forget about our connections, our deep, personal connections that we feel with the likes of Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Darth... This was the stupidest... I didn't even watch this movie. I don't even remember which movie this was. It feels like the second or the third one. This was like the dumbest scene that Deep I could think of. Personal connections that we feel with the likes of Darth Vader. Luke the Skywalker. saga will end. You you got these damn like horse animals and you're just running across. Like, what are you doing with this? Why why is it always like this is your view of like minorities or tribal people that they're still using like these animals and galloping in the battle and shit? It's goofy, man. Princess Leia, Darth Maul, <laughs> hell, we can even forget the Mandalorian and Grogu. The most valuable character in Star Wars is apparently Rey, because reasons. Most likely because Kathleen Kennedy proclaimed it from on high. But basically, we are watching my prediction from the other day play out in real time. I don't care what the Access Media and Disney are saying out loud. When we heard that they fired the writer for the Ray movie, I said that the movie won't get made. They will scrap it and put Ray into this new trilogy of films that was just announced the other day. And so, here we are with this news. This article from Variety says, Disney has removed an untitled Star Wars film previously scheduled for December 18th, 2026 from its release calendar. Ice Age 6 will move into its spot, but let's all be real here. Everyone knew that the movie scheduled in December of 2026 was the Ray movie. They can try to be coy here all they want and act like we didn't know what that movie was, but come on. They just fired the writer for this planned movie just a few days ago, and now they're moving this unannounced movie from December 18th, 2026 to yeah. God. Here's the thing, though, too. Is like, let's say that they actually went through with the whole thing and they made the Ray movie. Boys, let me ask you here. Who here is legitimately excited to go watch a Ray movie? Because I could tell you I wouldn't go watch it. I don't like the character is unlikable. I don't like the character Ray. And I would not be excited to go watch Ray at all. So it's like, even if it got canceled, if anything, I see them as like saving money because I, I can't imagine how that movie would ever do good. Knows when. 
But anyhow, while it was never confirmed exactly what this project would be, Charmin Obeyed Chinoy was previously announced as the director of an upcoming Star Wars film following Daisy Ridley's Rey after the events of 2019's Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The film lost screenwriter Stephen Knight earlier this year after Damon Lindelof and Justin Britt Gibson previously departed the project. Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy said at last year's Star Wars celebration that Ridley's new film would follow Rey as she builds a new Jedi Order. Well, I think maybe next time you ought to keep your mouth shut there, Kathleen, until you actually have a script for a movie. Because otherwise, you just keep making an ass of yourself. Star Wars movies used to- Not like that, like, I, I think uh, at this point, like, no one even really trusts them to make these, uh, these scripts. I think there's still a level of an audience out there. These are people that are like the Funko Pop enjoyers. They don't really look too far into like the stories that are being written. They just want to see like fancy effects on the screen, you know, bring their children or something and like, oh yeah, look at daddy likes Star Wars. Uh, daddy likes Star Wars? Yeah, let's go, let's go uh, to Walmart after this. Let's get you a new Funky Pop. I kind of see that as like, that's like your audience. But... There are a lot of hardcore fans out there that just don't want anything to do with this. And I think that they're still missing a huge chunk of viewers that would really like to watch these films, provided they can make a good one. ...to be special. Hell, I'd go so far as to say that for the majority of the fan base, they would have called Star Wars movies sacred when they came out. It was a sacred event for us. But now, it feels like a new Star Wars movie or show gets announced every other month, and the collective response from everyone... Yeah, and, and that's the thing that sucks, too, is because, like, everybody... Like, I know with, like, my friends and I and stuff, whenever, like, a big film would come out, it was a lot of fun to go with all your buddies, your family, and all go watch a great movie. Just the experience, you know, you're in the theater, everybody laughs together, or you hear people gasping in the crowd. It's a lot of fun. It's a good experience. It just doesn't seem like that shit exists anymore, man. You look, you look at these damn films and you're like, boring. You simply yawn. Nobody cares anymore. Yeah. Between the fact that by now, a vast majority of these projects never get put together, and the fact that what few projects do come out are absolutely littered with terrible writing, between all of that, people are apathetic to whatever Star Wars is bringing to the table. That's why I always expected Star Wars Outlaws to sell like shit this past summer. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, if you guys ever have that friend that maybe promises things like, hey, I'll come pick you up or uh, let's go let's go out and go do something. And then they're either always late or they always cancel the plans. And then so you become numb to it. So whenever they say like, hey, let's go uh, watch this movie or let's go over here and let's go play at this tournament or whatever. And then you're just like, uh, sure, well, I guess we'll. And like you don't even and that's probably like the one day that you prepare for it to not happen. Then he'll actually show up and you're like, oh, shit, you actually showed up and for Star Wars The Acolyte to do so poorly on Disney Plus that they would cancel it right away like they did. The franchise is just played out. They injected identitarian bullshit into it, and now that's all they're left with. That and a decaying husk of nostalgia that this soulless corporation has picked over like a greedy vulture. But there's nothing left. Apathy kills franchises. In any case, I'm going to leave it there. Drop some mockery of Kathleen Kennedy. I would say uh, women are the ones that kill it. Because they don't know how to write good stories most of the time. They don't have like those real world type experiences. They just... They tend to be touchy-feely shit writers. Not all of them, most of them.